Hey there, Simplifiers. Welcome to 2018. And as you can see, I still have my Christmas decorations up, but I'm gonna use this as an opportunity to show you how I personally take down my holiday decorations to make it easier for me to decorate next year. So when you're organizing holiday decorations, just like you would organize anything else in your house, you wanna think about why and how you're gonna get at those items when you need to get them. Because after all, that's why you're organizing them, so that you can make it easier to retrieve them when you need them. So I usually break my holiday decorations down into two separate categories. The fixed decorations, which are the things that will always be put up around the same place, and then the decorations that I sort of use as filler around the house and depending on my mood when I'm decorating, that's where they'll go. First, I'll show you what I do with my fixed decorations. I really like these bins from Costco to store my holiday decorations because they're a good size. They're not too big, but they're not too small, so they're not gonna get super heavy, and they're gonna stack really well because they're a nice rigid plastic, and they also have the clasp lids on them. So just in case my kids were to mess around in the decorations area of our storage, they probably couldn't mess it up too much. And on the front of all of my bins, I like to use these vinyl file pockets. They're from a company called Smead, and I'll link to those in the description below. And then you can see I just throw an index card in there with the items. And this is particularly the items that go around our television. So we have lighted garlands, stockings, lighted letters for the stockings and um, just some extra garland. And the reason that I put all of that stuff together is, A, there's not really any other place I can hang stockings like you see behind me um, in the house. We don't have a fireplace, we don't have a mantle, we don't have like picture shelves or anything like that. So this is the place that they're going to go. And so rather than put all of the stockings and soft goods together like the tree skirts or any towels or anything that I have, I like to keep everything together that will go up in the same place. So I can just grab this bin that says TV area, bring it out here, throw up the decorations around the television, and then I'm all set and ready to go. I feel like I have something up, but I'm not searching through four different bins to find the stockings and the letters and the lights and the garland. So I'm gonna throw it all into this one bin and then I know exactly what is in there. So the other decorations are things like picture frames or knickknacks or little figurines, stuff that doesn't necessarily need to go in a certain place in my house and maybe I'll just decorate with it on a whim of where I'd like it to go. I like to keep all of those items together. So as you can see behind me, I have several Christmas trees. I have a bin with Christmas trees and smaller knickknacks that I can keep all of that stuff together. So once I have finished placing the fixed items that I have around, then I can sort of fill in with the flexible things like picture frames and knickknacks, and I can use that to change up from year to year. But again, at least if I'm in a hurry to decorate or I don't have a whole lot of time, but I wanna get something up before we host Thanksgiving dinner, I can just pull out these fixed bins and at least know that I have a good amount of stuff that goes in a certain place that'll sort of give us that halle feeling around the house. An additional tip that I'd like to give you today to help make it as easy as possible for you to decorate next year is to put your Christmas tree away decorated. So what I do is I actually just take a trash bag, I cut the top of it off and then a second trash bag which is tall enough for this and then I just cover it over and then I carefully carry it back into the area where we keep our Christmas decorations and then if you wanted to, you could probably tape these two bags together. I usually just kind of shove a bit around the branches because really what you're doing is trying to protect the tree from getting bumped and anything getting knocked off, which I usually put the tree in first and then put all the bins in next to it and in front of it so it doesn't have as much of a chance of getting knocked. So what ideas can you share with me about how you put your holiday decorations away so that it's easier for you to find them next year? Comment below and let me know how you keep your holiday items in order. I am always looking for new tips. If getting your family organized is one of your 2018 resolutions, join me for my upcoming class, Teach Your Kids Organizing by Organizing Yourself. There's information about it in the description below. And also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos about organizing and simplifying your family. Here's wishing you and your family a happy organized 2018 and I will see you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions.